good Wednesday morning. So yesterday, mild temperatures, plenty of moisture, and it was the perfect atmosphere to see some strong to severe storms. And that's exactly what we saw last night. In the overnight hours into early this morning, cold front started rolling through the area. That put an end to any severe weather, but it's giving us these cooler temperatures out the door this morning. And right now, you can see right where that line in that cold front is sitting. 57 in Chillicothe. Currently, it's 45 in Cameron. So over the next few hours, that cold front is going to continue to push down towards the south and the east. So everyone will be cooler this afternoon than we are right now. Feels like temperatures also taking quite a hit. Upper 20s and lower 30s is what it feels like with that breezy northwesterly wind. So here's that line of showers and thunderstorms. It's still pushing off towards the south and the east this morning, causing lots of issues in parts of Arkansas into Oklahoma and Texas. We're seeing even some tornado warnings active for this morning. For us, now we're on the cold side of this storm so that eliminates our chance for severe weather but we could see a few snowflakes when everything is said and done tomorrow morning right now on the radar you can see most areas are dry a few spits and sprinkles going to be possible though as we move towards the next few hours i think we'll get a light chance for rain later on tonight close to the dinner time hour so i wanted to share with you a few damage reports that we've gotten from the national weather service from those storms that moved through last night we did have a tornado warning here in st joseph it was radar indicated so right now we don't have any reports of any touchdowns across our area. Of course, if we get different information eventually from the National Weather Service, we'll be sure to keep you updated. But right now, all of these reports that I have to show for you are wind reports because we had those damaging wind gusts right ahead of that storm on the leading edge. So the first one coming in around 850 yesterday evening, that was right in the bulk of our severe thunderstorm warning. There's some roof damage to East Hills Mall. A second one we got a report at a church very close to I-29 had the glass blown out of its windows because of those strong wind gusts. And then a few more neighborhoods close to uh, I-29 as well on the eastern side of that. We got reports of roof damages to several homes across the area, both of those because of those strong straight line winds. Rainfall, also a big story for yesterday here in St. Joseph. Officially, we picked up 1.15 inches of rain. Just down towards the south, though, in southern Buchanan County into northern Platte County, some areas saw two to three inches of rain. So it was a pretty good soaking across the area. So back to today's forecast, cold and breezy. We started off in the 50s at midnight. We'll be in the 40s the rest of the day with that cooler air. Going to be feeling like the 30s, though, all day when we tack on that wind chill. So for most of your Wednesday daytime hours, I anticipate that we're going to be dry, except for a few spits and sprinkles. Later on tonight, close to the dinner time hour, I do anticipate that we'll see a few pockets of some light rain. And as we move into the overnight hours, the sun goes down, that cooler air surges in. It's not out of the question. We might see a little bit of light snow mixing in across the area. Shouldn't be too impactful, but tomorrow morning as you head out the door, don't be surprised if you see a little bit of light snow lingering across the area. Thursday will be, for the most part, a cloudy and cool day. Sunshine returns again on your Friday 46 this afternoon for your high really 57 will be the high that's what we hit at midnight cloudy skies isolated showers here and there better chance for some light rain overnight tonight but it will certainly be cold enough to see a little bit of light snow mixing in with that overnight into the early morning hours on your Thursday 47 tomorrow clearing skies that's still going to be pretty cloudy for tomorrow and here's a look at your five to seven day forecast cool temperatures for the next few days we'll see sunshine again Friday another chance for showers a few rumbles of thunder overnight Friday into Saturday we clear out more rain chances on the way for early next week